this is me. And now meet my AI self in the style of Gustav Klimt, Van Gogh, Wes Anderson, Frida Kahlo, Augustino Arriva Bean, Larry Elmore, David Berliuk. Here I am a bride at an Indian wedding, and here I am in the avatar of an influencer and popular YouTuber. Liked it? Want to create your AI self too? Then this video is for you. My name is Trisha, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's go. The first step in the creation of your AI self is to find a portrait photograph and remove the background. To do so, we can use many methods, but the easiest one is to use a service called remove.bg. Here I have uploaded my photograph and it has generated a picture by removing the background. Now I can download my picture with removed background and use the picture for the second step. The second step is to log into the website called midjourney.com by joining their Discord server. Midjourney is a paid service that can be used to create AI photographs and digital art. Visit the website midjourney.com, register yourself, and then sign in to their Discord. I am using locally downloaded Discord application on my PC, and I have created my own personal server by adding Midjourney bot into the personal server. You can also do the same or use the online version on the Discord. The third step is to upload your clear background picture, which you have saved in the first step into the Discord. Once it uploads, you can get the link to this file by right-click copy link option. Now you are ready to create your AI self by using this reference image. Now you have used the slash imagine command by typing in the message box. Choose the prompt option and paste the reference image link there and type the style you want your AI self in. You can use additional parameters such as 16, 9 for aspect ratio, you need your image and Q2 for high quality result. In this example, I am generating my AI self in the style of Larry Elmore, and Midjourney has generated four options to choose from. Let's understand a bit more about the options under the generated photos. U stands for upscale, V stands for versions. So if you want to upscale fourth option, press U4. If you want more variations in the style of third picture, press V3 and so on. If you don't like it at all and want it to regenerate again, press this little refresh icon. Now you can play around with the styles and options of the generated photos to land upon the AI self pictures that you like for yourself. After a bit of playing around with the different options and creative imagination of unique prompts and options, here are the photos that I have generated in different styles. One more interesting thing you can do is to play around a bit with the settings in Midjourney. To do so, you need to type slash settings and press enter. This command will open the settings menu and you can make adjustments with different settings and test your outputs against it. For example, I changed the style to very high and regenerated some of my pictures in different styles and you can see the output of this change. In one of the previous videos on my channel, I have also described how you can use these AI-generated pictures and design your AI personality like voice, tone, style, and make them talk as in the real life. For such videos and in-depth research and practical AI learnings, do subscribe my channel, drop your comments in the comments section, and let me know how I can improve or what kind of content you would like to see. Take care and have fun, bye.